Well, that is up, you too. We are back on the truck again. Day three. Just hoping to have this done in a day or two, but nothing ever goes as planned. So where we left off on this. First day we got the trans out and back in, or the new trans back in. Second day, well, I was also messing around with all the shifter stuff. Yesterday, I managed to get all of the drive shaft stuff in here. So this is all done with some cutting and grinding on the yoke. This was bottoming out before that half inch length difference fit me in the behind. So this is back in now. It should be good to go on this. Spins nice and free. Don't mind the bushing that I never replaced yet up here. But I gotta put this down on the ground and I'll double check to make sure this isn't bottoming out once we get it lower. I think that should be enough play for me. That pretty much sat on the end of the seal last time. And I gotta get the speedo drive bolt out. But I think instead of wasting a bunch of time trying to get that removed, I'm gonna drop the chalk back down on the ground and then cut the brand new shifter in half and then come up with a appropriate shape shifter for the truck bench seat. This would probably work in a car. I'm hitting the bench seat and I'll show you that once we get it down. But drive shaft is in, brand new U-joints on the rear. That was replaced yesterday. But uh, that's kind of where we're at. Bottom should be pretty much buttoned up. I got one more bolt here. And eventually I gotta deal with that speedo drive, but that's gonna be a different day project. I don't need that to drive again, so that can wait. Maybe I'll take care of that next week when I get a little bit more time. But let me get this off of the rack. We'll roll it back so I can actually open the doors, fire up the grinder, try not to melt anything or set anything on fire. Just getting ready to drop this down and figured I might as well just top this off with some fresh fluid first. So. On these 303s, you got your side drain plug right here. We'll pop this out. Once this comes out, I'll use a transfer pump borrowed from my buddy. Fill it up until it spills, and then we're ready to put this up in the air or drop it off the rack. So pop that out. doing a full change so there we go now I'll just let that drain all over the floor make a big old mess pop the rest of this back into the tank it would have been nice if I didn't just move my catch can so we'll put that there at the end after we've made a giant mess on the floor. All right, so I'll throw the drain plug back in and then we'll drop this off the rack. I dropped the truck down and I'm just checking that drive shaft gap. See what that looks like underneath the car with it unloaded. And it actually pulled farther back, which I think should be okay. So back to ground level, fully unloaded. I'll roll the truck back now so I can get the doors open and mess around with the shifter.
is about half an inch on that drive shaft right now. Oh, what a relief. It's good seeing it back on the ground again. But here's what we're looking at on the inside. We're in neutral right now. It's not shifting now. Did I tweak those rods down there? Well, that's not good. Something's hitting. Great. working yesterday. Hmm. Okay, either way, I'm gonna cut the shifter right here on this straight section first, because that's gonna have to move, and then I'm guessing I just bound up the linkage somewhere underneath before I just dropped it back on the ground. One thing at a time. I'll start with the shifter so I can clearance it from the bench and then I can make sure that it actually will work. I do have a fire blanket set up on the bench. for that quite a bit for welding. But now, we got a little nub down there. So let me jump underneath the truck real quick and see if I can free up whatever's stuck. I don't know why it's doing that, but unless it was just hitting the, uh, something stuck. Back under the truck. So I was underneath the truck wrestling around with the shifter linkage. Something got jammed up here. So I just realigned that underneath. We're back on the rack again, but now we have neutral first, neutral second, third, neutral, and reverse. You really gotta lay into it, but just clicking into all the gears. First. I'm also not used to the actual shift pattern of having to turn it. The other one was so sloppy it would just kind of drop into gear, but that is functioning. So, now I gotta figure out what I wanna do for a shifter. This, or this, or do we combo them? We'll try and do both. Could drill and tap it. it was something like this before. We could cut this down and re-weld it right there. used to bang this on the dash. Reverse. I do 
something like that and shorten it. It's supposed to bang here. Just got to figure out exactly where I want it. I do like this shifter, so odds are this is going to go back on. I might have to trim this down a little bit more. But I'd like it to be in a spot where it's not going to keep hitting things. Or do I want to go short? Try that. I'll bolt it. I'll drill two holes in this first. We'll try and bolt this shifter in and then uh, see how I like that set up first. I know it's not the best, but if I like it, then I'll actually weld it. But for right now, just kind of get an idea. Now we can test the truck out. So I drilled this, it's temporary, I'm not doing it like that forever. I will get welded because it's a little sloppy. I don't know how good this shifter is actually going to be. And it's really long, so leverage wise it's got a lot of play. But I think we're ready to fire this up. We're still up on the lift, but... So as it sits, we're up in the air. Wheels are stationary, not moving. First gear, slipping the clutch. Yeah, not first gear. Let's try third. Third's going. 
second. I know you guys can't see the wheels, but take my word for it. Reverse. All right. And the hard one. Reverse. are spinning in every gear. So, shifter up a little bit. Now, everything is working as it should right now. Here's the problem. When I put this on the ground, something's binding up and it won't shift into any of the gears. So I don't know if it's because the drive shaft's still too long. Didn't look like I saw anything down there noticeable, but we'll take a look here in a second. Uh, I'm gonna leave you guys on because we're just stuck in the corner. Dropped you guys onto the ground. Ooh. Definitely need to weld this. But we'll figure out where the shifter needs to be. So the wheels are just touching now. And I'm still getting shifting. Let me come down a tiny bit more. Another couple inches. Still not fully loaded. Farther down. Really? Now you're gonna work? Okay. Farther down. Maybe it's fixed. Fully loaded. Shit. Maybe starting it rotated something around a little bit. Oh, I'm down to touch. What's the worst that could happen? I'm trying to think if I left any tools underneath here. Tighten the shifter a tiny bit more. Bolt in is not the way to go here. It's way too long for that. any noises. 
business, so that's good. First. Very quiet. I'm not so used to the gear noise. shifter for sure. Third. It's so quiet in here without the grindy transmission. I can't get over it. Oh, man. Second. And this is so much firmer in terms of your shifts left to right. I'm gonna leave the boot off for now so I can kind of get used to everything. I'm just driving around the complex now. around with the shifter and the welding and figure out what I'm going to do here. All right. Maiden voyage slash shakedown run. Yes, we drove around the block, but that doesn't really count.
leaving my shop complex is the uh, lack of vision when there's big vehicles like a van. shop too. Uh, everything is good. It runs like a top. I still have not cut and ground the shifter. I'm going to take about five inches off of that. But other than that, it's running good. I'm going to drive it as is for a little bit and then it's just custom stuff from then on. I'm going to shorten up the shifter a little bit, but that can wait. It's at least shifting. I'm getting used to the shift pattern on it. It's the same pattern. It's just got bushings and actually shifts smoothly. Very quiet driving. I can hear a lifter tick or an exhaust leak instead of just marbles in the transmission. So I'm very happy with that. Everything else is good. In total, it took, I guess today is technically day three. So two and a quarter days from parking at, well, yeah, two and a, two and a quarter days of pretty much just working on this. Could have gone quicker, but I switched out the shifter. I switched out a bunch of other stuff. And I think I paid a hundred bucks for the trans and that shift kit together, the shifter and the trans at a swap meet and 20 bucks in diff fluid. So not too bad. Happy it's back, happy it's done. Oh, and then that black Springer that I picked up at the last swap meet, I grabbed that and brought that over to my buddy's shop when I was messing around and used a ton of bolt extractors and things and it was a pain in the ass. I didn't film any of that, but the Springer is completely disassembled. That's at the shop now getting ready for repowder. I did have to torch and drill and tap one of those um, spring studs. So I will do a video, I think on reassembly of that Springer front end, but right now it's just clean up, get everything prepped. Hopefully that'll go back together and that'll either get listed for sale or make its way onto a bike. Not sure what we're doing with that yet, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And enjoy the rest of the afternoon at shop two. Maybe get a little bit of work done and then play by the water. We'll catch you on the next one.